Hi, I'm Neil from Quality Vacuum Products. Today we are going to be talking about making a baseboard for your bag and installing the connector, the vacuum connector assembly. Specifically in this video, the VCA6. I am going to be doing an extremely small baseboard. Typically baseboards are you know, for a 4x8 bag and bags are 102 by 54 so you're going to be using a 4x8 sheet. So typically for doing a bag that size, your baseboard will be a four by eight sheet and we recommend using melamine coated particle board. The reason why we like this material is it's a nice smooth material. It's easy to slide your pieces in and out of the bag. Also, if you get glue squeeze out, it's much easier to clean up. When your bag comes down against it, it's a nice smooth material. You don't have to worry about damaging your bag. With a four by eight baseboard, we recommend doing the saw curves horizontally and vertically every 10 to 12 inches. This being a much smaller baseboard, I'm guessing I'm gonna do them every four inches. I did all the saw curves horizontally and vertically. I just took a round over bit and I rounded it over all the edges. You don't have to, but I recommend doing both sides, round over both sides. This, and then also file over your corners. The less sharp corners that your bag sees, the longer it's gonna last. So the little bit of extra time that it takes to do both sides rounding over and filing the corners is going to save you money in the long. Now it's time to install the connector. We need to choose where we're gonna drill our hole for the VCA6. What you need to be aware of is you wanna make sure that when you're pressing that your form for your substrate sits over the connector port once it's in the bag. So you might have a large bag, but sometimes you might be pressing smaller pieces. So we always recommend to put the connector close to the open end of the bag. It just makes your life easier. So if you have a four by eight baseboard in there, but you're gonna be pressing a small little two foot by two foot piece, you don't have to slide your piece all the way to the end of the bag to go over the connector if you would place the connector near the end of the bag. So I like to slide my baseboard into the bag and then choose where the best spot would be for it. And we usually recommend at least six inches from an opening or an edge. So I like to cut the bag in half and choose the centermost port. Um, this connector port might be a little close to the front end of the bag. Um, so I'm just gonna go here. Um, so this is where I'm going to put my connector. So just remember it's the second one, dead center, second groove up. Now that we have chosen the spot for our connector, I drilled a pilot hole. Now, we are gonna drill a recess for the top of our connector. So you can see I drilled a recess and what you can do to make sure it's deep enough is just take the connector and drop it down. And you just wanna make sure that you can see that this part is below the tabletop. All right, now that we have this hole recessed, we're gonna drill our three quarter inch hole all the way through so the connector can now drop through. We drilled our three quarter inch hole. So now the connector can just drop through. In another video, I showed how to install the VCA 6W. Uh, in that video, I used a hole punch to put a hole in the bag. Uh, so if you wanna see how to use a hole punch to put the connector through the bag, uh, please go to that video. In this video, I'm gonna show another technique. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take the connector, put it in the hole, flip it over, you're gonna to want to take a rubber washer, put it over the top, and then you want to slide it into the bag. And this is gonna be with the connect with the uh, face of the baseboard face down. You're gonna slide it into the bag. Once the baseboard 
is positioned in the bag where you want it. What you're going to want to do is just take your hand and push it over the top of the connector. And then what I'll do is I'm going to make a small X in the top of the connector. And once I have a small X, what I'll do is push the bag over the top of the connector. And you can see it comes down. What you're going to have to do is then push it down over the threads. You want to make sure that you push this down tight against that rubber washer. And then what I will do is take my knife and just trim around it. After all the excess has been trimmed off, you're going to want to take your second rubber washer, put it on the outside, take a metal washer, your lock washer, your nut, your one and eighth inch wrench, and just tighten this bad boy up. And now you're good to go. You have your bag with your baseboard. And you're ready to go. If you ever have any questions installing any equipment or doing any veneering or laminating type work, please don't hesitate to call us. Um, a vacuum pressing specialist will be there to assist you anytime. Thank you very much for watching this video.